delicious. Oh, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Connor. We're here working away, getting some videos out, cranking some edits. Right now we're working on the Rogue Rider Industries headlamp bucket install retrofit that has already been dropped, but this is a little bit behind the scenes and we're also waiting on a package to come from First MFG. What? As y'all remember, we were accepted to be part of their flow team for 2019 riding season. That's right, we got the First MFG Vendetta jacket. So far, still going strong. I'm digging it. I really like the look of it. That was the main thing that drew me to it. And I mostly run it without the liner because with the liner, it can get pretty toasty, especially here in Texas. We're starting to breach on the warmer riding months. Now, one of the things that I have noticed is, where to go? Part of the inner lining that the stitching on the inside has come and done a little bit where the liner meets the mesh inner of the jacket. And I'm not gonna attribute that to the jacket itself because a lot of times I do forget that it's zipped in. I go just to pull out the liner and then it ends up catching on it. So that's probably from my end. That's the only issue that I've seen and I've worn this jacket a fair amount. Pretty much any time that I can wear the jacket, I go ahead and do so. So it's seen some life in about the two months that we've had it. And it's still looking good, still looking distressed. packaging now I'm really excited about this because we've been trying to get rain gear for Hutman if that's what if we haven't announced what it is this is rain gear guys we always mean to do it we buy some from Academy on occasion if we're gonna go on a trip like the one we did for Dallas where it was supposed to rain and it's like oh bro no so I bought some rain gear from Academy it was like the $20 frog tog or whatever it was and just because I wasn't expecting to use it and if I was I didn't want to have rain gear if I would only use it every so often so we never really bought any and then we would return it and then it was in time i was going to houston where it was supposed to rain so i went ahead and bought some more of the 20 dollars stuff and went ahead and returned it after because it didn't rain and then usually whenever i buy the rain gear I'm ready for it, it doesn't rain whenever i'm like oh i should be good it rains and dumps on me like there was that one time so now we're riding around san antonio new braunfels area and then all of a sudden just boom dumped on us i mean it was just straight water and here's the memory Cool. Whenever I got news that I was gonna be on the flow team, I said, hey, I'm pretty excited for that rain gear. Things I'm really looking forward to trying out so that way I can actually have it and have rain gear. But let's show off the rain gear. The texture initially runs with that ripstop material that you get at the Fender Bass Pro Shop kind of stuff for Thicket. I really like the high-vis orange. It's indicative of the Harley Davidson because it's black and orange. I'm pretty sure that's why they went with these colors. I could have sworn I saw some high-vis yellow when they posted it on their social media, but I dig it. People are gonna see you. You got some reflective tape here on the bottom of the leg. Yes, that's the leg. So here are the pants. What? So one thing that I've noticed, this is a very rough unboxing. We're gonna be doing more of a actual in-depth review video later on, is that the saddle area, you have some Gore-Tex style material, where this is pretty much just uh, kind of like those gardening gloves. You have that gripper material here on your butt and your groin, so that way it's gonna secure you to the seat. That's kind of cool. You have your traditional tether, kind of secure cinch. You do have a zipper here on the side to expand it, that way you can put them on. And then this is just additional reinforcement. And you have only one pocket here on your lap, here in the front. Which is good because usually you can't access your pockets when you're riding unless you kind of do this awkward little lean and stand up, etc. And now we have the jacket. 
Atrox Race Gear, division of first manufacturing company. So it is a division of a, you have Atrox Race Gear branding here on the front chest pocket, front left, and on the back, you have a reflective strip across the back, right beneath, right above a giant orange panel, so people are gonna see you. You have a bit of a cinch belt along the waist with elastic on the back. That way, if you get a certain size and it's just a little bit snug, you have some room to grow, or if you have the perfect size and you add some layers, it's gonna make it a little thicker, but that way you have some room to grow. Traditional pockets, there's nothing here on the side, on either side, but you do have two lower abdomen pockets in the front, as well as a top left chest pocket. So, we have Velcro all along. We got the jacket, we got the pants. Now we're just gonna go ahead and throw them on. Should we do the jacket first? Sure, why not? If I had a KTM 1290 bro, I would be dressing the part so hardcore. So overall, the jacket feels pretty good. There's a decent amount of room. Uh, you know, maybe a phone, wall, etc. Now, when putting on the pants, you wanna make sure you orientate them with the front being the front and which side you're gonna put in first. That way you don't accidentally put them on backwards. Bro, pimp down, pimp in distress, pimp in distress. Good fit. I wear a size 35 pants, 34, somewhere in there. Um, and so the large fits me well with good, with still plenty of room to move around inside over a pair of jeans. So that way it's not real snug. You're not like Ugh! trying to sneak it on. The jacket is a large. You have these little straps here to add a little bit more security if you want to feel slimmer, a little more snug. And you have the hood that's here which we're gonna leave in for now, so that way it looks more adventurous. Hi, this is Brian coming at you. Who is that from Jackass? Hi, this is Connor, what's up ladies? And now all we have to do is put it to the test.